Despite being the writer and therefore the creator of the Scream franchise, Kevin Williamson has had a very unique vision for the movie since the first one back in 1996. With that vision however, there comes limitations and studio interferences that can sometimes stop things from coming into fruition. So in this video today, we're discussing every single thing Kevin Williamson had planned for the Scream franchise and why some of it didn't end up seeing the light of day. Hello everyone and welcome to today's installment of Beyond the Mask, where today we're discussing Kevin Williamson's original plans for some of the Scream movies, namely the ones he didn't specifically write, as even though Kevin wasn't involved in a few movies here and there, he absolutely had ideas for every single entry, and they just didn't pay off. The first one to start with is obviously his plans for Scream 3. In a recent interview, he stated that his visionary for free was implemented into Scream 4 before Dimension Film stepped in. The movie was to return to Woodsboro due to the fact that Stab 3 was being filmed, so the movie within a movie element was very much the same. The production for Stab would take them to Woodsboro once again. This would introduce a new set of teenagers who were allegedly hired by the actors, like Jennifer Jo Lee, Tom Prince and so on. The killings would begin again, but the culprits were the teenagers at Woodsboro High who were stab fanatics, and they teamed up together due to their love of the franchise and because they saw how famous Billy and Stu became before them and decided they wanted to be famous too. And that was basically his version of Scream 3. A rumour at the time was that Matthew Lillard was set to return as Stu Marker, who was orchestrating the group from prison. Now, this rumour was started from Matthew Lillard himself, but Kevin has never discussed this or revealed any information about Stu's involvement. So continuing these cancelled concepts, we arrive at Scream 4. For the most part, Scream 4 was Kevin's own script. The major difference here is that a couple of elements were changed. One was that the location of the Stabathon, which was in a barn in the movie, was initially meant to take place in a graveyard in Kevin's script. In the original draft, the movie didn't have the hospital climax, but rather had the movie end on a cliffhanger, which saw Jill Roberts becoming famous only to realise that Sydney had woken up, and thus ending the movie on an open ending. You see, when Kevin was writing 4, he had intentions on that being the start of a new trilogy, so with 5 and 6 following 4 with a continual storyline, the idea was that Jill was set to become famous and Sydney would have suffered memory loss, which would gradually return as time would pass in the fifth movie. Jill would head to college, which would see someone begin stalking her due to the fact they learned her secret. The whole movie would have been a sort of ghost face versus ghost face effect. According to Kevin, Sydney would have been featured, but wouldn't have been central focus. It would have instead followed the killer of the previous entry as she continued with her cover up from Scream 4 something that still has never been done before. Now it's unclear how things would have transpired on screen, but we do know that by the sixth movie, Sydney would have found love and would be set to marry. Then, Ghostface would have begun targeting her once again, just before her marriage. So she'd have gone through this whole ordeal of, could my husband-to-be be the killer? It would have added a whole new psychological question in, that she would go through because despite her finding peace, she would be in this state of never truly knowing whether or not she can trust the people around her. But Kevin has stated that he absolutely intended on giving Sydney a happy ending. Another addition that he intended on including was the death of Dewey Riley. He stated he wanted to kill Dewey off earlier and absolutely intended on him dying at some point between Scream 5 and Scream 6. So it would have been interesting to see how that would play out. I'm thinking it was likely to be Scream 6, as he stated in other interviews that his Scream 6 would have focused on Gale and Dewey quite a bit and their marital problems, so that much is quite confirmed. It's safe to say the franchise would have been different if Wes Craven was still alive and if Kevin Williamson would have continued writing the movies. The pair combined were able to create a truly terrifying experience on screen, but also remain loyal to horror and to the fans that tuned in. Which of these projects would you have been interested in seeing the most? 
share your opinions below. As usual, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.